Department of Urology of the Yesa Hospital in Hasselt is a third line urology center. We have a staff of seven urologists and we cover the whole field of urology with all subspecialities. We do have a bed unit of over 50 beds of urology patients and we do have also three senior residents who are making part of our urology team. My main focus is andrology and in andrology I'm taking care of fertility problems but mainly erectile dysfunction. First of all, Peyronie's disease and secondly, penile implant surgery in erectile dysfunction patients that do not respond to conservative treatment. Since we do a lot of penile implants, over 50 cases a year, we do have access to penile tissue in all those patients. For this reason, we can use corpus cavernosum for basic translational research. We do functional research with special interest on smooth muscle cell relaxation. In 2005, we started an aging male clinic, the first of this kind in Belgium. Since population is aging and we see that patients are getting older in a better condition, we thought it might be interesting to look at our male patients from an andrologic point of view. This means that we look for BPH, prostate cancer, erectile dysfunction and late onset hypogonadism. This aging male clinic is a multidisciplinary organization where we work together with cardiologists, endocrinologists, sexologists, etc. In our clinic of urology, I'm responsible for the urooncology, oncology where we perform the major open oncological surgery together with Dr. Vekemans and Dr. Stregia. Just like radical prostatectomies for big and poorly differentiated tumors where we prefer to do a broad lymphadenectomy, cystoprostatectomies or pelvic accentuations with neobladder and also for bigger and unfortunately located renal cancers we prefer to do an open partial nephrectomy rather than to do a laparoscopic total nephrectomy. We have a very well organized multidisciplinary team. At least once a week we have a meeting with a medical oncologist and the radiotherapist. And most of the time the radiologist and the pathologist also come and join us to discuss the difficult files. Further, we work with paramedics which are very dedicated. Our prosthetic nurse, our physiotherapist, our stoma nurse, and even an oncological psychologist to support the patients mentally. I'm dealing with the more complex pediatric urology, namely hypospadias, uh, reflux, uh, hydronephrosis, and uh, voiding dysfunction. 15 years ago, we started with the Mitterrissen School, working in a team with uh, pediatricians, urologists, nurses and a physiotherapist. We see more and more children with wetting problems and voiding dysfunction. And every month we discuss the difficult cases and try to make a new way to deal with these difficult problems. Our subspecialization within our team means for me that I will take care of the oncologic surgery, the open oncologic surgery, the stone treatment and the urinary incontinence. We do more than 1,200 stone treatments a year. We specialize in the flexible and semi-rigid rhizoscopy for stone treatment. Concerning functional urology, female urinary incontinence and urogynecology can be treated technically. We have got the laparoscopy, also the vaginal approach, where we can do mesh surgery and sling surgery. For the male incontinence, the artificial sphincter transposition, but also the virtue or the sling suspension for male incontinence after radical prostatectomy. With our high technological way of working, patients stay as short as possible in the hospital and their recovery time is as short as possible. In the Department of Urology, I'm one of the surgeons performing laparoscopic operations in functional and oncological problems since 2001. One of the main aspects of my work is that I teach our residents how to perform this kind of laparoscopic procedures and sharing my expertise with other colleagues. It's the surgeon that benefits from the laparoscopic vision. He has a perfect vision in the operating field. He can see all the details necessary for his operation. Our urology department is a very dynamic department. In the near future, we would like to grow. This means that we will fine-tune our subspecialities to cover with a standard of high quality the whole field of urology. This means that we are thinking of attracting more urologists, covering some other niches and new residents.